All right, your morning mess. How you doing? It's Joey Boy. It's Sasha Castles. And it's Anish. Backstage, Westwood One Billboard Awards. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, or more like ladies, we got Jorge <laughs> Blanco. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. How are you, man? Good, and you? I'm happy to be here, man. Uh, so listen, I did my research on you. Okay. This is like this is like the Justin Bieber like in Argentina. You can't walk down the street in other countries. Uh, a little bit. A little no, bit. don't be modest. <laughs> I've seen the videos. Yeah. They, they, like in other countries, you get mobbed. It's crazy, yeah. So yeah. here, do you just love it that you can walk down the Vegas Strip and be like, I'm just gonna go shopping? Yeah, it feels good to be you know chill. Yeah. Right. On the street. Yeah. What What do you miss mostly about before all your 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 fame and stardom? I don't know. It's not like that. I miss that. I mean, it's just a different experience. And plus, as an artist, it's for me a challenge to come here from scratch and try out as a solo artist. So I'm excited about all this. Awesome. Right. When did you make that decision that you wanted to take a step out from where you were and come to the to the states and? When, right, right when we were getting like to the end of the show I was doing, well, first of all, I've always wanted to do this, you know, being, okay. do my music as a solo artist has been always my dream. So when this show finished, it felt like right, you know, it felt right. I met the people from Hollywood and they were like, well, we're interested. And I was like, right on, let's do it. I just came here and I've been working for like a year and a half now. Nice. Now, you're super busy. I mean, transitioning from a Spanish artist to an English artist, yeah. the Disney and acting, all that stuff. How do you take time for yourself? Because I think that's important when you're so busy. Well, yeah, this business is kind of intense in that in that, that in that side. But you know, it's always good to take a break once in a while. You know, back go back home, back to your roots. You know, keep your feet on the ground. And you know, you know, I, I have a girlfriend for we've been together for ten years. So. Oh wow! Yeah, we've been, we've been well, well, working out that. Yeah. The, you just broke so many hearts watching this <laughs> interview right now. This girlfriend, ten years. How do you guys deal with? your busy schedule well first of all she's an artist too so okay. that's easier because she definitely understands we both understand this world and you know you always have to find you know that break once in a while just go travel get out of your world there and just disconnect and and that that kind of gives like totally gives you energy to go back you know even with more energy and inspired to do that something yeah. to talk about between the two yeah like, exactly guess what i did today <laughs> exactly <laughs> yeah how many groupies did you get thrown <laughs> <laughs> pennies at, 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 like, do you discuss? i mean she she must have uh big fans of hers as well oh uh, yeah she does do you get jealous no not at all come on Jorge. no i'm proud i get you're proud. Proud. he's taking the yeah. pictures he's excited like yeah yeah, yeah, yeah definitely her. i do if you go out with your girl you guys are both stars and someone wants to get a picture with her yeah you'll grab the camera and take a picture definitely of her? yeah really? why not? I'm, oh. I'm a huge fan of her so why not? You're breaking okay. more hearts. These girls are like, "Are you serious? He's the one. He's the one." <laughs> we talked about we we've talked about jealousy on the show too, which clearly you guys don't have a problem with. But uh, as a single person on the show and you being so successful in relationships and knowing a little bit of Spanish, is there something that you could teach me in Spanish that? I could say to maybe pick up on some people, maybe in a romantic setting, mm. or like a nice pickup line nice in Espanol. Nice pickup. Ah, do you want it in English or Spanish? Spanish. Like in Spanish. Spanish. Like what kind of thing? How 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 up front you want to go? That depends, though. I mean, I want to do it the way that you would. I want to do it because huh. exactly I would tell you to say "quita de los pantalones." <laughs> oh my god! What wow. is that? If you what met a cute boy in Vegas, Quit, say yeah. you tell him repeat after me: "quita de quita de los los pantalones." Pantalo. Oh. I mean, you get take him. off your you pants. <laughs> wow, I wow. mean, what would you tell them? I mean, what would, oh what would your pickup line be? Oh, if if you want to go with a like, like a step lower before before <laughs> that, <laughs> you, if you want to go like a step lower before that, you can say like, "Te puedo invitar un trago." Whoa, who, whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. No, I'm already turned on. What did you say? <laughs> can I buy you a drink? Whoa. Wait, wait, wait! wait. Say, okay. Can you say slow again. that down for me? I want to learn how to say that. Te puedo. Te puedo. Invitar. Invitar. Un trago. Un, un drag? Trago. Trago. A drink. Un, Te puedo invitar un drago. Mm -hmm. That's it? That's it. That's good. That'll work. Can I buy you a drink? Yeah. Te right. puedo invitar un drago. There you Changing go. There you go. Now you got to slow it down, like the Bieber style. Despacito, you know how he says Despacito. it so fast. Despacito, there you go. Te puedo invitar un trago. Low pays always works. Yeah. <laughs> okay, maybe I'll just bring one of you two. Wait, ours. speaking <laughs> of Despacito's, our favorite song, oh we were talking about, are you surprised that the song's in Spanish? And he's working on English radio on Top 40. Are you surprised about that? Uh, not much. I mean, music, it's an international language. Anyway. Right. Mm -hmm. So why not merge these two cultures together and just do it? You know, I think it was a great idea to do it. You know, have Justin Bieber, Daddy Yankee, and Luis Fonsi working together. I think it's great. It's even a greater opportunity to all these American and Latin American artists to just do this new mix. You know, I love it. Is all your new music going to be English, or you can maybe do some Spanglish or Spanish? Well, for now, most of it's been ang English, but I mean, there's like plans of I'm I'm collaborating with these ar artists in Mexico too, and uh -huh. yeah, I'm all about that, you know, mixing, merging these two 
language together. Yeah, definitely. I feel like we should go shopping. We kind of rocking that saying, you know, oh, yeah, like, man, the yeah. tongue's got to be out. We're playing here. You know what game. I mean? Yeah, and, you know, man. after, you know, you, these groupies throw their panties at you, okay, let's bye. hit the Vegas Strip and let's go shopping. It let's looks like we got the, we could do that. Oh, yeah, let's do it, man. Uh, <laughs> that, bro. My gosh. Jorge Blanco, thank you so much for stopping by. We had a Thanks, blast guys. with you. It's the morning mass backstage at the Billboard Music Awards. Quítate los pantalones. Oh, oh, ta, uh, te puedo invitar pantalones? Un trago. No, un trago. Un trago. <laughs> un, trago. <laughs> un trago de pantalones. <laughs> okay. What? That's what it was. Oh, gosh. Oh, that was fun.